Hey guys, Angus from Spotted Hog Airsoft here with another video overview for you guys today. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a smaller item and personally, as an airsofter, I've been involved in tons of airsoft games over the years and because of that I've developed a preference for airsoft magazines. Now personally I prefer the mid-cap magazine because it allows me to get that continuous rate of fire without any annoying winding. Of course, there are times when I do yearn for high caps, I just don't want to have to wind my magazine after every burst. Well, there is a solution for that and you guys have seen these before in my combat videos. These are the Lancer Tactical Flash Magazines, in this case the M4 style magazine. These are great because they allow you that higher capacity mag with no winding down at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and take a closer look at these throughout the video, but if you're interested in picking it up, there'll be links down below in the description to SpottedHogAirsoft.com where you can purchase these flash mags. Now with that being said, let's hop directly into this video. Alright, now taking a look at the actual Lancer Tactical Flash magazine itself, it looks like any other standard M4 high cap. The magazine is constructed of metal and has a nice black paint job on it, a little bit light for my personal preference, and when looking at it up top, it looks like any other high cap and appears it would function the same way. You'd load the BBs through this trap door up here, total this magazine is supposed to hold about 350 rounds, and then the BBs would feed upward through this lip after you winded the magazine. Of course, the winding is where things are a little bit different. When you take a look at the bottom of the mag, there is no gear. Instead you see a metal plate with a rather nice Lancer tactical engraving. Now when you pop open that plate, here's where things get a little bit different. There's no metal gear inside here to wind. Instead you have a pull string. And that serves the purpose of winding your magazine for you. Essentially when you pull it, a small internal gear revolves, loading the magazine up and getting it charged and winded ready to go. What's cool about the pull string is that you only really have to pull it maybe three to six times when you first fill up the magazine. Once you've done that, the magazine's wound and ready to go. It's going to feed through all the BBs inside the magazine before you have to wind it again. So essentially, you can run this like a mid-cap in a game because once you've already pulled that string initially, you don't have to touch it again for the duration of the magazine magazine use. And when the magazines are actually inside of an AEG, they feed just fine and continuously like I was stating. The only real difference with the magazine is the sense that instead of the gear, you do have the pull string. These Lancer Tactical Flash magazines are also in an AK-47 style high cap mag. These will run you about $18, so a dollar cheaper than the M4 mags, and they work the exact same way with the exception that they're obviously in the AK style, and they do hold about 550 rounds. Feed great though. So overall, personally I find these Lancer Tactical Flash magazines to be a huge advantage to airsofters out in the field. Now you can get that higher capacity magazine, but not have to deal with the annoying winding. Just a couple quick pulls on that string down there and your magazine is winded and good to go for that game. That's a huge advantage as far as performance aspects go as well, because say you're in a game in a big firefight, you don't have to take a couple crucial seconds to wind up your magazine, you can just keep up a continuous fire, have a greater chance of getting your opponent out in that game. The magazines are constructed well, and I personally do run these in my airsoft games when I am using a weapon I want to kind of use as a support role inside the game. Personally, I will use mid-caps, my other AEGs. But these get the job done perfectly well. They're good quality, constructive metal, and they compete with your average high cap, seeing as how they hold essentially the same amount of BBs. Just the greater advantage of the fact that you can pull that string and not have to wind a gear annoyingly down at the bottom of the magazine. So with that being said, guys, this has been Spotted Hog Airsoft's overview of the Lancer Tactical Flash magazines in both the M4 and AK-47 style. And with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.